Resident Evil 4 has some very interesting changes that I would like to talk about and I plan on making a separate video on some of those changes but one in particular that I would like to talk about is Ashley's new role expanded in Resident Evil 4 and I'm talking about the 2023 remake. Before I do talk about Ashley's role in Resident Evil 4 the remake I'm going to talk about how she plays in Resident Evil 4 the 2005 version. Now in Resident Evil 4, the 2005 version, you play as Ashley in one section of the game and that is escaping the little dungeon that she's in. She solves one or two puzzles and she can also crawl underneath little obstacles. And the only way that she can defeat enemies is by throwing these lanterns at them so that's primarily her role from a gameplay perspective i'm not going to go into story because i don't want to spoil anything for the remake and i know some lores may be going to be changed around and certain things are going to be changed to fit the reimagining of the resident evil 4 remake and that's perfectly fine but here are some things that i do think that should be in the remake and these are just my personal opinions um and if you disagree that's fine guys i completely understand you know we're not always gonna agree and look eye to eye but these are just some things that i would like to see and hopefully it does happen i'm really hoping it does because i don't want anything major to change all right now with all of that out of the way let's talk about what i want to see in the remake so what i've seen from the trailers and some of the gameplay reveals is that Ashley, and I'll throw the picture on screen, Ashley has this picture where she's wielding a weapon, and I'm pretty sure it is to do with the Plaga taking over her mind, and maybe it resorts to her using this weapon, but I doubt that she's gonna end up firing. Please though, Capcom, don't allow this to be an excuse for Ashley to use weapons. The whole point of her gameplay section in the original was that she can't use weapons she can only use those projectiles and crawl under obstacles that's just one thing that i don't want to see in the remake she needs to have more than one gameplay section in the remake now in the original as i mentioned she only has one gameplay section and correct me if i'm wrong down in the comment section below Beside that, that's the only time you'll ever play as Ashley Graham. And again, she's pretty weak, but that's the point of her section. She should only be able to evade characters. Now, in the remake, Leon is able to crouch, and I imagine that she's going to be able to do the same thing. And she should have that same gameplay mechanic, don't get me wrong. But she should be able to use crouching to evade enemies, and that's something that I do strongly believe is going to be in the remake but please give her more gameplay sections that fit her gameplay style. That's something that the remake is going to need heavily. And I'm pretty sure the beginning of the game is going to open up with her running away from maybe the cult members or someone chasing her or something chasing her because we've seen that in countless of the trailers. Those are primarily the biggest concerns that I have for Ashley. Now, I want to see the best for this game. Now, voicing my concerns about certain things might come off a little bad for a lot of people. Like, oh my gosh, it's, it's a reimagining. It's a remake. You know, you're going to get new changes. I get that. I get that. But that's what made the original so beautiful. There's certain things that you love about games and there's certain things that you don't. I think these certain things will benefit the, the game in the long run, and that's just how I feel about it. If you guys have any different opinions, let me know down in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, that's going to have to wrap up this video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy, and I'm back to uploading, guys. Let's get this week, and I hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.